Is your webcam boring? No, it's really good. Of course it is. It's a webcam. I'm Bryce and today I'll be walking you through a short tutorial on how to stream webcam footage over Wi-Fi to OBS using a Raspberry Pi. But why would you want to do that? I don't know. Maybe you want to strap a webcam to a bike helmet and use it for a cooking stream. So your viewers can donate 250 Australian dollars to force you to smash your face into a cake that you just spent two hours making. So you'll need a computer, a Raspberry Pi, HDMI cable and a display, keyboard and mouse, uh, a blank 8GB or greater SD card, a USB power supply that's rated for at least 2 amps, and a USB webcam. Just some quick notes, I'm using a Raspberry Pi 3 model V1.2. Uh, at the time of writing, the latest model is a Raspberry Pi 4, which is faster and costs the same. So as long as the board has Wi-Fi, it should be fine. I'm using a Logitech C920 webcam and I haven't confirmed if other models work but hopefully any decent webcam should be okay. The Raspberry Pi camera module sort of works but seems quite laggy. I might try and find a better way to use that camera at some point in the future so keep an eye out for later. Now you can buy an SD card preloaded with an operating system on it but if you haven't I'll quickly run you through the installation process in a bit. By the way, I'll have links to all of the stuff you need in the description underneath the video. Okay, so I'm going to quickly run through setting up the SD card. If you know what you're doing or have a preloaded card, feel free to skip ahead. For this project, we'll be using Raspbian, which is a lightweight Linux distribute. Now don't freak out. I know Linux might sound scary, but trust me, it's full of penguins and open source goodness. It'll be fine. Besides, we're going to install Noobs, which stands for New Out of the Box Software. Aimed at beginners, it's pretty easy to set up and it allows you to choose which operating system you'd like to install. It's also likely to be installed on preloaded SD cards. To start, we'll navigate to raspberrypi.org forward slash downloads forward slash noobs and download the zip file. Or the or the torrent file, but I'm sure you don't have a torrent client, do you? Once the uh, zip file once the zip file is sent, I've already downloaded it, so I'll just cancel that. Uh, we can open it and copy the entire contents to the SD card. And we'll just wait for that to finish and we'll come back. Just take the SD card and put it in the Raspberry Pi, plug in the screen, keyboard, mouse, and power, and we're all good to go. Uh, here's the, uh, the bad part. Uh, I don't have a HDMI capture device, so we'll be looking at my scratch screen for a few minutes while we get set up. Sorry. Okay, so connecting the power will boot your Raspberry Pi and should load the Noobs installer. I am going to connect to my Wi-Fi network. We can see uh, a few different operating systems available on this screen, but we're going to select Raspbian and click install and uh, click yes this will take a little while so we'll come back uh, when it's done nice now so you don't have to keep looking at my miserable monitor we're just gonna set up vnc viewer uh, server because people you know feel more comfortable in a graphical user interface or GUI for short you don't have to do this, but it's an easy way to remotely control your Raspberry Pi over the network. Quickly just making note of the IP address displayed at the bottom right hand corner of that window as we'll need it a bit later. Okay, so here we're just going to set up Raspberry, so you know, we're in Australia. Yep, that's fine. Use your keyboard. Cool. And we'll want to change the default password from uh, Raspberry. So just for the sake of this video, we'll just make it P-I-C-A-M-1-2-3. And 
and we're going to want to update the software, but we can do that later. Um, so now we just have to restart and we'll get going with the rest of the setup. All right, so first we're going to open a terminal and type in sudo raspy config. Oops. So it's going to bring up some options for us to choose from. Now, first we want to change interfacing options. So we want to navigate to BNC, press enter, enable the BNC server. And that's done. While we're here, we'll go to network options and change the host name so we can easily use it on our network. So we'll just change that to PyCam, hit enter. We'll also change boot options. So while uh, we don't really want to use the desktop environment automatically, because we'll eventually be running this as a headless. So we'll just select a automatic login and that's all we have to do. So now the desktop environment won't start up automatically, but if you do need to use that, you can just use the command start X in your terminal. Now it is reboot. After rebooting, you should uh, see this screen. So if you want to boot into the desktop environment, you just type in start X, enter. And now we should boot into the desktop environment like so. Now we can switch over to the computer so we can actually see what we're doing. On your computer, go to the VNC or real VNC download page and download the executable. I've already got it. And we'll run that and install it. And then we just type in VNC viewer. Now we have file, new connection, and making sure to remember the IP address that we uh, had before at the very start. 192.168.1.1. So that'll be different for you. Let's do that. Now we log in to the Raspberry Pi with the Pi and the password that we said earlier. So PyCam123 for me. And now we're in our virtual environment. Now that we're logged into the Raspberry, we'll just make sure everything's updated. So in the terminal, we'll type in sudo apt get update. And if you just update some packages that we might need. All right, so now that that's done, we'll type in sudo apt get Grade. Oops. Yes, we want to continue. Y enter. So this is basically just going to upgrade any, I think, maybe firmware or just an operating system that we're using to make sure everything's all up to date. Uh, this typically takes a little bit longer, so I'll just leave this to do its thing. All right, so that's finished, and press Q to quit. And, oh, it's not quite done. Alrighty, so now that's done, that took a little while. Uh, we can actually move on to setting up the webcam server now. So, in the terminal, we're just gonna clear that. Now we're going to clone some files that I've already uploaded to the internet, so you don't have to uh, write them and make them executable. Now, if you want to check that what I'm saying is in the file, so you're welcome to do that in the GitHub repository. Just for the sake of, you know, easy use, I guess, we're just gonna clone it straight from the repo. So say git clone https on slash slash github.com slash Bryce dash AC dash pi dash webcam dash server so that's just going to clone in and download those files so we can go look in here so that's created a folder and we've got these here so if you want you can look at these in text editor and it just has basically everything we need to set up the webcam. 
All right, next we want to run these at startup. So we want to go cron tab dash E. Uh, all right, so we're going to select an editor. Would we'll issues nano, so we'll press one, enter. So we'll just navigate down to the bottom here. We're going to type, or wherever you want in the file, doesn't matter. You can type reboot. And then after that, we'll have slash bin slash sh space slash home slash pi slash pi dash webcam dash server dash webcam oops webcam dot sh. Uh, now you may have noticed that in the file. There was a pycam.sh. Now that's for the Raspberry Pi camera module. It's a bit laggy and doesn't really work, but if you want to use that uh, for now, you can just change that out. So for example, so here you just put pycam.sh. But we're using the USP webcam. So we'll use webcam.sh. Now we want to save that. So we use control O to write out and then control X to exit. And so now, once we reboot the Pi, we can uh, take out the USB keyboard and the HDMI cable. The blue light on the C920 webcam should illuminate, which indicates that it is uh, putting out video feed. So now we uh, should be ready to go in OBS. All right, this is the last step. We're in OBS. All we have to do is create a media source. We'll call it RPI cam. Now it's not a local file and we'll be accessing it by HTTP colon slash PyCam or whatever you named your host name as colon 8099 slash you should be able to just click OK and it'll take a few seconds for it to come up there's a bit of a delay unfortunately and we should see me there in my Yoda shirt and my Terrible excuse for a microphone rig. Now you too can live stream your humiliation if you smash your face into a mud cake. Uh, I hope you enjoyed or uh, not enjoyed, but found this uh, tutorial useful. If you did, I appreciate if you liked the video or considering subscribing. In future, I hope to release uh, some stuff on using my stream deck with a Raspberry Pi over Wi-Fi and also using it as a bit of a dodgy mic pack with uh, some voice meter protocols. If there were any steps in the video that were a bit unclear or you need help with, you can join my Discord server and I'm happy to help you out there or flick me a message on Twitter at BryceAC underscore. If there are any common problems, I'll probably put them in the comments. So just keep an eye out. So yeah, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.